Hi guys, the Greenwich Literary Symposium are back together in our home of Greenwich this month. Uh, we are back for a few days from Paris, and so we are back at Katie's to film this month's review of The Trial by Franz Kafka. Yeah, it's about a guy on his 30th birthday, gets woken up by the police, um, he's arrested and told that he's been put on trial, um, but he by some kind of um, distant court in a distant judicial system um, and he's never told why he's been put on trial um, and the book is about him dealing with the trial and his lawyers and and everything like that. I felt like it was quite slow <laughs> <laughs> because nothing really happened. I absolutely agree, it's hard to read. Mm. It's like the writing style is very existential mm. so. and the whole thing felt to me like a David Lynch film um, and that's that that's kind of how I'd set it in my head, and I think that's why I enjoyed it because it was pretty fucking weird, um, yeah. and, and, weird and I, I really liked it I, <laughs> for that. Weird and a really boring. One, <laughs> so it, it's weird. You don't, oh, I just don't get it. I just I just found it all a bit flat. I think as a book, I don't think I'm going to be recommending it to anyone right. anytime mm -hmm. soon. It's, it was a really hard read. Yeah, it was the worst book I've ever read. <laughs> my biggest problem from uh, page one um, was the translation. So it's a German book, yeah, um, translated into English so badly. Yeah, there was a lot of just the way that, that annoyed me a little mm. bit. Come on, I'd like to hear from somebody who's read it in German. What do they think? Yeah, <laughs> is it just as boring? Yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you've uh, read the book in any other languages. It was just, I would really like to know, like people say it's one of the greatest books ever written. Why are you looking at me? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of the, it's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. Um, I'd like to know what it is that people see in the book. Yeah, because I kept trying to fact, like figure out if there was some symbolism to it. And I wondered if like, he was, because he was never in prison. And was his life a prison? Was it all about? Was there was lots about the different classes of like the way people are perceived and the different res the amount of respect you give to different classes of people? And I just wonder if there was some symbolism to it. I didn't find it though. I I not got I've not got anything to say about it because I don't know what it was about. I kept reading it thinking in a minute something's gonna happen. <laughs> hoped it all came together but it just didn't. Maybe had he had time to finish it, all those little things would have, I don't know. And towards the end some of the chapters were really long. Um, really long. And at the end of the chapter I kind of looked back through it and I was like, literally nothing has happened mm -hmm. in this whole chapter. Mm -hmm. it, it seemed like, it's not, it's not a book. It's not a story, it's just a lot of words. <laughs> a lot of words bound together yeah. and printed out. It's not a book. I'm giving it one star. I am. I'm going to give it three. Oh! I think you gave it three because we gave it one. If I give it two, we would have given it two. If someone says, oh, I've just bought this book, I was like, I'd say, oh, you know, it's, um, it's a tough read. Um, it's a tough read, it's really weird. But you'll probably be glad you read it at the end of it. Yeah. Um, like, let's give it one and a half, shall we? <laughs> Overall. So what's next? Um, we have had a celebrity book recommendation. From one of our celebrity fans. From one of our one celebrity of. fans. Um, yesterday I sat down with um, author, actress, blogger, vlogger, um, and now recording artist, uh, Carrie Hope Fletcher. And I asked her to recommend a book. And let's take a look at what she said. Now I'm in a book club. The Greenwich Literary Symposium. That sounds very sophisticated. Um, we are meeting tomorrow. Oh, amazing! Um, and we film them all. We put them all on YouTube. Oh, how great! Uh, and I don't like to brag because I know you're pretty big, but we do have tens of views sometimes. Amazing. Um, you know, sometimes. You've got to start somewhere. Sometimes even fifty. Brilliant. <laughs> um, can you recommend us a book for our Ooh, next one? Currently, I'm reading um, Happiness for Humans, okay. which is so good. I'm only sort of halfway through, maybe like a third of the way through, and it's absolutely brilliant it's about um this uh ai um like software that starts becoming sentient and starts sort of like understanding and it becomes way more intelligent than all of the humans who are using this software okay. um 
and it sort of starts playing um, matchmaker with the woman that's sort of testing out. She's a journalist who's testing out this software before it goes public. Um, but it's managed to escape and now there's like copies of it around the world and they're all contacting each other and trying to find the perfect match for this woman. It's great. So Happiness for Humans <laughs> is our book for this month. Um, if you have read the book, uh, do let us know what you thought below. And also if you've read The Trial by Franz Kafka um, and you liked it. In any of the many languages there yeah, are. Um, I, for one, would be fascinated to know your thoughts um, and if you liked it, what it is we seem to be missing. Um, so we will see you soon. Soon ish. Um, whenever we can all get back together. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.